The first walkthrough of a home is, when potential owners get that gut feeling, and get a chance to compare a home to their wish lists. While you'll know if a potential home meets your basic requirements, from the number of bedrooms to the availability of outdoor space, you won't know every detail of home the first time you view it. Kerb spoke with a home inspector, and architects who specialize in home renovation, to find out what you should look out for during your first walkthrough, or an open house. Use their guidelines to help you make an informed assessment of a home's condition. When you're scoping out a new property, it might be easy to be dazzled by great first impressions. We have set out our top 10 tips, for getting the most out of your viewing of a potential new property. When you're scoping out a new property, it might be easy to be dazzled by great first impressions, or feel pressured by the presence of others, to only have a quick look around. Buying a new property is an important decision, that shouldn't be taken lightly, so why shouldn't you get the most out of your viewing? It's your chance to really find out, whether or not it's the right place for you, and gives you an opportunity to spot any potential problems down the road. We've put together some tips to help you ensure, you're making the most of your viewings. So, let's go to the video and see what are those tips. <laughs> Check for damp. If the house has signs of damp, this can cause significant problems in the future, and lower the overall value of the property. Check for flaky plaster and watermarked walls, especially around ceilings and skirting boards. If a room has been recently repainted, this could be a sign that damp is being covered up. Storage space. Think about all of your furniture and belongings. Does this property look like it has enough room, or will it end up being cluttered and cramped? Practical things such as hoovers and cleaning materials need to go somewhere. Is there space for extra shelving? Room for guests. One of the perks of having your own home is, the scope for having friends and family over. Is there a good living room, dining room or large kitchen? If you're looking forward to entertaining guests, make sure you have space for them first. Bring a second opinion. If you can, bring someone along to view the property with you. Two heads are better than one, and your companion might spot things, you have missed and can give a neutral and pragmatic perspective if needed. What about outside? How do the front and back areas look? Are the paths cracked, or are things in disrepair? Check the exterior pipe and drainage situation, and make sure that there aren't any potential issues, that you may have to face down the line. Take your time. Don't feel pressured by other viewers or the homeowner. This is your chance to see the property for yourself, so take the time to explore everything, you can to get a feel for the place, and whether or not you want to live there. Leave time to check out the nearby streets, and the local neighborhood for a better overall impression. Ask questions. This is your chance to ask the questions that matter. If the current owner has nothing to hide, it shouldn't be a problem. Bring a list if it will help you remember. Ask everything you can think of, such as why the property is available, how long it's been on the market, what the neighbors are like and how old the roof is. Test things out. Don't be shy to go around and test out the little things, for instance, turn on taps to see how good the water pressure is, open windows to see if they have been fitted properly, and generally have a good poke around. It might seem a little awkward, but the little things also matter. If you're new to the area it's also a good idea to test how long it might take for you to make the school run, or to get to the nearest transport links. If you can, talk to the neighbors as well, to get a better feeling of the community and atmosphere. 
Be pragmatic. It can be quite easy to walk into what seems like the perfect home, and envision your life there. If that happens, half the battle is won, but don't let that stop you from looking for the things, that can turn the dream into a nightmare. This also works the other way, don't let a few small or superficial issues, put you off what could be a beautiful new home. If you have a vision and the property seems suitable, you can work through them, and create your ideal home. Go back for a second look. With so many things to think about, covering all of the points in one viewing might not be so easy, so going back for a second look is always a good idea. There might have been something you missed, or maybe it wasn't as good as you first thought on further reflection. Going back for a second look, can either confirm your first impressions or change them completely. So, there you have it. The above are just a few ideas for you to take with you on your next viewing. Remember that you are the buyer, and therefore are totally justified in finding out as much as possible. In this video, we explain 10 useful house viewing tips for buyers. If you got this video helpful, please give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.